Hello, I'm Luke Westray for CNET here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. We're going to take a look at Tizen OS, a new operating system backed by Samsung. We're looking at it running on a Samsung prototype device. This operating system wants to go head to head with Android, so let's take a look at what the interface is like. All right, so this is the home screen of Tizen. Bear in mind this is a very early version of the operating system, so all of this is subject to change, but you can see you have your apps arranged on the home screen. As opposed to Android, there is no normal home screen that you fill with widgets and then a separate app tray. The app tray is the home screen, if you like. So if I dive into some of these, uh, you can see, if I go into my files, for example, you can see how the basic layout works. So. In the bottom right, you have a back button, which is quite similar to how Android works, while over on the left, you get this context-sensitive menu, which will display different things depending on what you're looking at. So if I pop into the camera and have a look there, you can see I've got the options to create folder, for example, or hide the file extensions. At the moment, we're using a Samsung prototype device. Uh, if you take a look on the back, you can see the uh, uh, Samsung uh, branding there. Um, but we don't really know anything about the, the hardware of this device itself, and again, obviously, it's not final. If you press the home button, currently that takes you back to the home screen. Now, if you swipe down from the top, that brings you a notifications page. Uh, it's a little bit slow. Again, this is still early stuff. So this is a this is quite different from the way Android works because instead of swooping down over the top of the screen, it pushes apps out of the way. But on this notification screen, you do have an impressive number of options. So I like that you can turn the brightness up or down very conveniently, and it's got a battery indicator there as well. There's also a shortcut to the settings menu in the top right corner. If we go into the settings, you can see the version that we're using. The model is just called Reference Device, and the version is Tizen 2.0.0. One thing I do like about this settings menu that I think is possibly a little neater than Android is that at the bottom there's a frequently used button. So if you tap this, you will see the settings that you most often go to. So things like Wi-Fi or location. That is quite a good idea because I, for one, I'm always fiddling around in settings menus trying to find the thing that I want from a long list. So it's quite handy to be able to quickly jump to the things that I'm usually looking for. Let's take a look at the camera. As you can see on screen here, it says if you tap and hold the camera button, then you can take a burst shot. So if I press like that, it's taking some burst shots along the bottom there. That is quite a lot. I think that was 20 photos in roughly a second, and now it's processing all of them. If you tap on the bottom here, you get more options, such as some editing. You can crop, rotate left and right, set a slideshow. You can see the details, uh, which is quite uh, in-depth, as you can see, things like the ISO and exposure time. And you can also add tags, which should help you organize your photos. More camera options. In the top right, you've got settings for the flash. And in the top left, you've got general camera settings. This is the phone app. No real surprises here. It's very similar to what you would get on Android, keypads, contacts, key logs. Uh, jumping out of that and into the browser. Typing on the phone feels quite comfortable. This on-screen keyboard will be very familiar to anyone who has used Android or even the iPhone. Uh, no real surprises there. Obviously, this is all prototype, but the browser does feel quite slick. Zooming in and out seems very smooth, so that is promising. We're in the gallery now. Something that's a little unusual is that if you tap an image, you zoom in using this slider on the bottom. Uh, if I try and pinch to zoom, you can't do that. Double tapping doesn't do anything either. You can scroll around the image, but if you want to zoom in and out of it, you have to use this bar. So obviously very rough around the edges, quite far from being finished, but it seems like Tizen has a couple of good ideas that I'm interested in seeing more of. Will it be enough though to take on the likes of Android? I'm not sure. I'm Luke Westway for CNET, and that was a quick look at Tizen OS.